How's it going, everybody? I, I sliced my thumb somehow. Attempting to put my camera up for to film this, and a little piece of metal came through my little bendy guy that holds my camera, and I somehow, I did, I thought I poked my finger, but I didn't. I sliced my thumb. So I have no idea why I'm allowed to exist, because that is just a stupid rookie move. But anyway, so dumb. So unbelievably dumb. Um, Sorry about the noise. I got the car door open because it's flipping hot. I don't even I don't even know how hot it is today, but it's it's toasty. And if you've ever been to the Midwest, especially in the St. Louis area, um, we have the worst humidity <laughs> ever, anywhere. I don't know that there's any, I don't think there's rainforests that are as humid <laughs> as it is in St. Louis. It's awful here. So um, even if the temperature is not that bad, the humidity will kill you. Uh, but anyway, I haven't made um, I haven't made a video in a couple weeks, and that's because I suck. But um, not that I haven't been to the gym, because I kind of ha I have. I do my weight training. Um, I skipped last week. Um, I skipped Thursday of last week, not this week, but last week, because uh, I had a job interview, and I didn't want to be tired when I went to my job interview, and so um, I skipped out and I slept in a couple hours. So that kind of sucks. But I just haven't, I haven't been hitting the gym a whole, whole lot, um, because my knee is killing me. And, uh, I'm trying not to, like, completely render myself useless. Um, but today, I can't remember what I did last Saturday, because I didn't come to Pride. I can't remember. I did something, but I can't remember what it was I did. But anyway, um, so, uh, I did come today, and it was kind of hard to get out of the bed and come today. Um, because none of my quote-unquote posse was going to be here today. One of them, Chris, who's uh, my neighbor, she is siding her house. So that's a workout in and of itself, especially in this heat. And then my two sisters, Jay and Summer, decided that they wanted to run a 5K today instead of come to circuit training. So I was on my own. And unfortunately, believe me, when I don't have someone holding me to it, like Chris giving me a ride or something, um, I tend to want to kind of wuss out and not come to circuit training. I only do it on Saturdays now. I used to do it Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, which is all the times that they offer circuit training. Um, but I kind of, as of last year, I kind of started kind of wussing out. I'm sorry, this is like really shaking bad. Um, I started really kind of chickening out on doing Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I only do Saturdays now because um, it's in the morning, so it's not quite as hot. And I just, I didn't want to do it today. My knee is hurting, my ankle's hurting, I'm tired, I just don't feel like doing circuit. Circuit is hard. There is nothing easy about circuit. If anyone tells you circuit training or CrossFit or boot camps are easy, they're not doing it right or they're lying or they're lying and not doing it right. Because there is nothing easy about it. I don't care. I mean, there are MMA fighters that look like they're ready to die when they come out of circuit training. So um, the thing about circuit that is kind of awesome in a way is that no matter what kind of physical level you're at, Everyone's doing the same types of exercises, but it's as hard as you make it on yourself. Um, every station, there's a way for you to make it as challenging as you need it to be, or as not challenging as you need it to be. Um, so that's the nice thing about this. Now, I've never actually been to CrossFit, so I, I don't honestly know how CrossFit actually works. I just know that we do a lot of the same types of exercises. I just think um, when it comes to circuit training, we do them in a different way. And the best way that I could possibly maybe describe circuit or uh, some people, if you go to like Planet Fitness, I know for a fact. Kind of love the really loud cars here in this area. Um, if you've ever gone to like Planet Fitness or another gym, if you, have, if you go to another gym, if they've got an area that kind of has the red light, green light system, um, I know at Planet Fitness they have it, where they have, what is it, 12 or 15 or 30 different little exercise stations, and they have the red light, green light. So the red light, red light you take a break, and then when the green light comes on, you do that exercise, and I think it's for th 60 seconds, and then the, green, or the red light comes on, you take a break for a second, you move on to the next station, and you just kind of make your little rounds, and you do that for like 30 minutes I think right so one minute one minute on 30 seconds I don't I don't know how long you would be working but anyway so I think there's what maybe 12 or 15 stations who knows anyway um that's kind of what 
Pride Circuit. Um, the name of our gym is Pride Fitness. That's kind of what circuit training, that, that is circuit training basically, only we kind of do it a little different. We do it for 60 minutes, but we do the stations for 30 seconds. Um, but everybody like partners up, so you have two different people partnering up. Um, and one partner starts and you do it for 30 seconds and then when they blow the whistle you take a break and your partner does the station and then you move to the next station and it's kind of like a little game of follow the leader. Um, but it's it's as hard as you want it to, to make it. Um, good example of you make it as challenging as you want it to be is one of the stations today because uh, the thing with well, like Planet Fitness is their stations I don't think ever change. I've never done their, their circuit training, but I don't think that their machines ever change or move. With um, our gym, every week they completely change out the stations. Um, so you're never doing the same workout twice. Uh, you may do a, some of the same exercises, but you never do them in the same order, and they're always throwing new stuff in, so always rotating out. It's got, believe me, they've got a whole list of exercises. It's not hard to not do the same two twice for many, many months. Um, but like today we had like a tractor tire and you're supposed to just do push-ups on the tractor tire. For me, challenge would be putting my feet on the floor, my hands on the tractor tire, and then attempting to do push-ups, right? Incline push-ups. That would be, that, that in and of itself is a super challenge for me. Um, the people before me were doing them with their hands on the floor and their feet up on the tire. See, because they can do push-ups. I can't do push-ups, so that's how they challenge themselves. Um, so that's the thing that I like about it. Um, I didn't want to come today again because my posse was not here, and I knew that I was going to be kind of a weenie today, and I was probably going to wuss out um, and be a real weakling. But I came anyway, and I got partnered up with a, a girl named Heather, who this was only her third time coming to Pride. So in a way, it was kind of nice because even though I kind of suck at these stations, and let's face it, I do, I do kind of know how to do them, and I can kind of do them, so I was able to kind of help her figure out how to do some of them, how to get her body to do some of the weird stuff we got to do. Um, but instead of staying in bed, um, I realized that today is my two-year anniversary at Pride. Two years ago, actually two years ago yesterday, was my very first time coming to Pride, and my sisters and anyone who knew me figured that was going to be the one and only day that I was ever going to come to circuit training. And then I was going to wuss out and never show back up again. And to everyone's surprise, um, I came back and I came back and I came back and I came back. And after a couple months, I joined weight training classes here. So I was at one point I was here at Pride five days a week. Um, as of last summer, I cut down on the circuit training, so I don't come three times a week. I only come once a week for that. Um, but I still come almost every Saturday. I try to. And I still do 5 a.m. weight training classes. So, But um, kind of sucked because um, I had to take my selfie by myself today in my pink bandana that I wore the first day that I showed up. Um, but it is what it is. I wanted that, I wanted that selfie. The whole reason I came here is I wanted that selfie in the pink bandana so that I could put it with the other two years worth of, um, uh, circuit training photos that I took. Cause we took a selfie the first day that I came we took a selfie a year later and I needed that selfie for the second year. So, um, I'll probably put that at the end of this video so you can see our loveliness. So I had to do it by myself, but it is what it is. So I guess my advice today on how to survive the gym is find anything, any stupid thing you can to inspire you to get your butt out of the bed or up off the couch. And so today was, um, I wanted my selfie because I didn't want to miss out just because I'm a weenie. And because my posse wasn't going to be here, I didn't need to let my personal anxiety get to me. I just had to kind of bite the bullet and hope that I got paired up with someone who wasn't going to make me feel like absolute crap about myself. And and luckily I was paired up with someone who was new, so I had a little bit of, um, you know, some pride in myself in being able to help a newbie out, and hopefully she'll come back. So, so that's about all I have today. Um, my phone is blinking because it only lets me do 10 minutes at a time, so that's probably a good thing because I'll babble for hours if you let me. But anyway, so just find any little thing you can to inspire you to get out of bed and keep pushing along. That's all you got. That's all you got. That's all you got. See you guys later. Bye.